of those aside, put them up there like that. And then you want to get you some Zippo lighter fluid, okay, some cotton balls. You could also use lighter fluid, your charcoal starter, uh, same thing. Do not over douse these. You don't want to get them too wet because you don't want a lot of this on the, on the neck. It won't hurt the neck, but you want it to evaporate fast. So that's the next phase. Okay, so now I've got this tamp dampened down with the lighter fluid, and I'm going to start going over the fretboard. As you can see, and this is a pretty dirty fretboard. It uh, hasn't been cleaned in a while. Uh, I just purchased this guitar uh, about a week ago. Got a good deal on it. It is a crafter. I fell in love with it. The thing feels good, plays good. It's just a nice, nice guitar. And you don't have to worry about the finish on the fretboard because it's not going to hurt it. So, But make sure you clean it up good, okay? probably need it anyway. Then take a dry paper towel and start rubbing it down. Of course you don't want to get anything on the finish of the guitar. That's a different story. So, and then uh, clean it up real good. Alright, and then you also may want to get uh, some uh, uh, Q-tips. And the Q-tips are going to come in handy. They're going to get into the right there along the, the fret wires. So you want to get this all nice and clean and everything because you're going to be taking measurements in between these fret wires and everything. You want them all cleaned up. Look at the dirt on there. So it's like, so even though I just went over that with the cotton ball and everything, along the fret is uh, there's some dirt build up. You want to get that all out of there really good. You want to make sure everything's cleaned up good. Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing. All guitars have dots. Everybody has dots. You know, it's like a dotted world we live in. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, look at my new guitar. Looks just like your guitar. Really? What's the difference? Oh, it's got dots. There ain't no difference. Yeah, I got dots. You got dots. Everybody's got dots. I want my guitar. I can't afford to go and buy a custom guitar or have a custom neck made for my guitar with a luthier because it would cost a fortune to rip this one off and replace it and that means more than likely the guitar will never be right again as it was first manufactured to be. Now you want to get this all out of there real good and you want to let it set overnight. Let all this evaporate out of the wood. Okay? So because you don't want, you can still feel a residue there. So if you let it set overnight and you don't have to worry about it because you don't want nothing evaporating pulling these up. Are you with me? All right, so now we'll be back to step three. Hang with us for the installation. All right, see you in step three.